What is going on everybody, Nazdarachi coming back at you today with yet another video for Dragon Ball Legends. Coming at you today from this beautiful manga inspired overlay here to talk about a very important yet widely overlooked topic, some would even say bugged. So what we're talking about today is the relevancy of equipment items, namely the silver equipment. And right now, because of what's available in the game, we're really only looking at Piccolo and Goku. Now, browsing across Reddit, talking with a couple buddies, and playing some casual matches, we've come to find out, and you may have experienced this as well, that your Piccolo and Super Saiyan Goku either one-shot pretty much everybody they come up against, or they are severely lacking in damage, and maybe you're not understanding why you hear people talking about one-shotting while your characters aren't, but anyway, I'm here today to answer the question for you. The answer is the equipment. So if we head into the equipment page here, we are going to check out something that's very important, and I totally, like I said, I overlooked this throughout the entire portion of the game up until about a week ago when I started to put two and two together. So currently, we're looking at Piccolo right now. There are two silver pieces of equipment that he can wear, and the one that's important, the one that really we're focusing on for right now in this video, for Piccolo anyway, we'll get to Goku later, is no, you're going to die, or no, you're gonna die, sorry. And what basically is going on here is you farm this equipment, this one in particular, from the Raditz EX-5 mission. It has a chance to drop, and this one is equipable on green characters only. So what we're looking at, when you fully upgrade this, you're going to have three different stats that are affected. Now, for the first two stats, the highest numbers that I've seen roll are around the 10 to 11%. For the third slot, which is the important one, we're looking at about 8% is the highest that I've seen these items roll. So when I say these items and rolling, what I mean is you can farm this event multiple times, the same piece of equipment can drop multiple times, and just comparing one to another one, you will notice that the numbers on them are widely different. So the other one only had the slot 1 bla uh, base blast defense in the 9% range, and this one's in the 11% range. Now, as you will see on other pieces of equipment that are only level 1, those two slots are locked. When you go to upgrade the equipment, and we'll actually do that right now, you will notice that every time you roll a new stat, that varies as well. And this is, again, for every piece of equipment, there is always a chance that you're going to get something completely different in the stat department for every single slot. So this is actually another very farming intensive side of the game that I didn't really pay too much attention to at first, but we have another Piccolo down here, 740%, not very good. This one's 1070, so let's see if we can roll a really good percent bonus to our special move category. So we're going to upgrade this one here. What's our second slot? We got 5.4%. Not anything too great there. Upgrade it one more time. We can't. We don't have enough green. So let's go get those real quick. And hopefully this won't take very long. This is, again, this is where skip tickets can come in really handy. I've seen a lot of new players that say, well, I don't need skip tickets. Why would you want to use them? Well, this is a great reason right here. When you get into farming the soul boost trees, when you get into farming these different equipments and trying to get different equipment to roll, you will quickly notice that this takes quite a while and you might not always get what you're looking for. But anyway, you get the idea. I'm not going to sit there and waste you guys' time. That bonus stat could roll with a higher percent. So that's basically covering the equipment there and kind of the random RNG factor in there. So what's going on with the super attacks? Well, when Piccolo wears this particular piece of equipment, and this is where the bug aspect, or some, some people claim, is coming into effect, it is going to provide huge increases to his special attack. And that applies to Goku as well, because Goku actually can wear two pieces of equipment. So let's go look at our Goku here. Oh, wrong team. Let's go look at our Goku here. 
He's wearing the die, which as you can see in slot 3 gives a 7.2% bonus to special move damage. And then he is also wearing Mr. Raditz here, Super Warrior special attack, 5.5%. So unfortunately Vegeta and a lot of bad guys cannot wear this. Uh, Saiyans can wear this. I'm, I believe that Goku classifies as a Super Warrior. Now, I could be wrong there. That might just be the non-Saiyan Z fighters, but that wouldn't make sense for this piece of equipment because the equip condition tag is Saiyan. So, this is a Super Warrior. It basically is a non-villain. I'm assuming that's in like Dokken, where you have your extreme types or villains in Dokken, and your super types are heroes. So, I'm assuming that rings true here, especially just for this equipment situation because there are no non-Saiyans that can wear that. So it has to be good guy Saiyans that are wearing Raditz there. So basically, equipping these pieces of equipment, you'll notice a vast difference in the amount of damage output that your blue card does. This again, some say, could be a bug, but you need to know it either way because right now it's relevant in PvP. You're going to want to play with the equipment cards on your characters, again, cheaply Goku and Piccolo if you have them, and if you're going up against these characters, you're going to see the little EEs on their name when you're queuing up against them, and you're going to know that you're going to have to spend extra effort making sure you dodge their blue cards when you see them powering up to shoot those. So, very, very special attention you can pay to that equipment there, which, again, I was kind of dismissing it at first. I just kind of found a piece that had high numbers and kind of rolled with it. But looking forward into the future, this is going to be even more relevant when we, I'm assuming, get gold equipment in the future and anything beyond that. So this system is going to become increasingly relevant. Now, whether or not the actual special move damage is actually bugged, I'm not 100% sure. I can't tell you. I don't know what a flat 7 to 8% damage increase to Piccolo's piercing special beam cannon is actually going to do. But I'm sure we're going to see the devs tinker with this because I'm not entirely sure they intended for all these one-hit KOs to be going around in PvP. So that's something to be mindful of for the future. But for right now, I'm going to quickly try to show you this in action here. And then hopefully we can wrap this video up a little bit more quickly. We're using the Elgato this time. Everything's 60 frames per second turned on, so hopefully it looks good for you guys. Now what I'm doing here is I have two parties set up. One where Piccolo isn't wearing equipment one where Piccolo is wearing that piece of equipment. I'm not going to show you Goku as well, just assume that the same thing is going to work for him because it does. I've play tested both of them here. So first off, we're starting with Piccolo without equipment. We're just going to have him solo the Nappa EX-5 because these are the only characters that are really powerful enough for me to test this out here. So there may be some edits while I jump to the piece of relevant information that I'm trying to show you guys. and. Um, yeah, there could be a cut here, so we'll see you in a second. Alright, so we've got Nappa out on the field, and we have a blue card in hand. We do need to hit confirm it, because Nappa in this CPU stage will try and dodge us. Ooh, this is perfect right here. So this, again, is without equipment. We beat him out there, we're just going to punch him once, and immediately launch the blue card, and see what it does here. So, it did not one-hit KO him. It did a good half to a little bit less chunk of his health, because we got to factor in that initial punch. But nothing that is overly game-breaking here. We're going to head and clean up the rest of this event real quick. And then we're going to jump back in with the Piccolo that's wearing the equipment and see what happens. And there was no particular type advantage there, red versus green. So there was. we want a kind of a neutral control test here to test this out. So you guys again saw it in action there. Now we just gotta sweat out the rest of this EX-5 with only Piccolo here. It should be easy. We're gonna the Rise and Rush here in a second. Juke him out. Oh, he tried to bait us there. Skillful, Vegeta, but unfortunately, it's not gonna save it. So, this one is all about wrapped up here. Again, we're gonna jump back in to the mission again, wearing the equipment. There might be another little cut here. Back to a part of relevancy, so I will see you then. Alright, so we're starting the fight back up. Luckily, again, we have a blue card in hand. Now, this is, again, the fight where we are wearing equipment. So that one piece of equipment you're going to notice is going to make a huge bit of difference if we can get everything to line up here properly and get Nappa to take the full force of our enhanced special beam cannon attack. Now, if you guys did check out the video I made yesterday, 
There are going to be some changes to this dash tech going on here. They're going to try and nerf it a little bit because even I can agree that it's a little bit too annoying and too OP to deal with in PvP. So there's going to be some changes on that. Of course, I will keep you updated. But basically what I can gather is they're not going to allow cards to continue to fill up into your hand while you're dashing and doing light attacks. And they're going to no longer allow key to recharge while you're dashing. So that's going to alter the way that combo functions there. So let's go ahead and see if we can't hit confirm Nappa here and uh, do some damage. Test out our super special beam cannon with our equipment on. He would stop spamming for just one second. All right, perfect situation. The exact same thing as last time. We got the conflict, we countered it, we're gonna launch a special beam straight into him. That couldn't have worked better than if I tried. And look, the one hit KO. No half bar of damage, with just that piece of equipment, nothing else has changed. This is a completely controlled test. You can see that Piccolo just immediately just wiped Nappa out in one hit. It was embarrassing. Nappa, go pick yourself up off the floor and uh, hit the showers or something. I don't know. Regardless of my cheesy one-liners, you guys can see for yourself firsthand how much relevance and damage output that that equipment adds right now. This does carry over into PvP, and this does apply again to Super Saiyan Goku as well, namely because Piccolo and Goku are the only type of characters that can wear equipment at this point in the game that has these effects because we don't have enough equipment in the game yet. So I do hope that was helpful showing you guys the relevancy of that equipment. Don't sleep on it. Try and farm yourself a piece of equipment that has some good stats on it. Again, the max numbers you're looking at are about 10 to 11% for the first two categories. And as far as I've seen, up to about 7 to 8% on that third category, which, which is going to be the one you want that boosts that special card damage. So keep that in mind, and as well, I will keep you updated on any changes to combat techniques after the patch that's coming up here, I believe, later tonight, tomorrow morning. I do hope this was informational for you guys. If you enjoyed the video, me hanging out in my little manga frame right here and spreading some Dragon Ball love, feel free to hit that thumbs up button. I would definitely appreciate it. If you're new here, we've been growing at a pretty tremendous rate here, about 100 to 200 subs a day. I wanna keep that going and be able to join the big guys, do some crossover videos with some other people. So only you guys can help make that happen for me. And I hope to see you again on future videos. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. And I will see you very soon after whatever patch and update we get. Maybe there'll be a banner, maybe there won't. We're not quite sure yet. Uh, you'll find out if you stay tuned here. Have a good one, you guys, and we'll see you next time. Peace out.